Did we drop my phone from the ski lift? Yes, we did. Good morning and welcome Good morning. to this welcome. new vlog. It's only 5.5 degrees outside and Filippo says it's freezing. How cold is outside? Five and a half, maybe. No, I don't think so, maybe. We'll check what's the subjective feeling, but I'll tell you one memory that I have from cold days. I do like to talk about this memory a lot because... Maybe it's zero degrees. Well, the cars say 5.5. Yeah, but maybe they are, my love. Let's see, it's zero. <laughs> it's zero, but it's zero it feels degrees. like... Temperatura percepita meno uno. It's cold. I, have, I got a headache from just uh, loading the car. Okay, so just for the sake of it, because it's my prerogative and because I like to tell this story. So growing up in Serbia, winters were different, let's just say that for sure, firstly. And second of all, it was like extreme weather conditions when it was minus 20. However, minus 18, you still go to school, baby. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, also in, uh, you know, I come from the north of Italy and back in the days, it's, uh, the, the, of course, the weather there was completely different yeah. and we had the fog it was snowing every wind it was much much colder than now so we grow up with a proper cold that's what i'm trying to say i remember minus 18 and i'm like going to school and everything is frozen and from the bus stop to the school was like a little hill and you have to make sure that you get down the hill but you don't break anything you know and you have to make sure that you're on time for school it was very intense i literally remember that day like but that's yesterday. why you guys are so Temper yes. temperamental, what do you say? Uh, yeah, maybe temperamental, but it has nothing to do with actual temperature. No, but I mean, that's why your temper is strong. strong. Yes, that's yeah. different. Temperamental means moody or ah. like something ah, okay. like that like feisty well anyway we are off to the mountains in case you're wondering why i'm like a little orsetto orsetto si it is because we're going to mountains and all bundled up and cozy and we are going to san Moritz because we liked it so much last time so i hope you can understand that we really 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 loved it but this vlog is going to be different because when i'm vlogging for vlogmas it's kind of like vlogging each day every day but now we're just gonna try and show you the both days because we're going for a weekend and we're gonna bring you with us so first things first we need to grab a coffee because we left the house is 10 a.m. baby we said we're gonna leave at 10 and then it is and I love that I'm wearing a lot of layers I'm gonna remove the coat in a sec but first things first I need to get my coffee I need to do my Duolingo because I already got a Duolingo notification to say it's here. time to do my lesson of the day look at the dog pop so cute I love black dogs so much I especially love black dogs because I learned that actually in the adoption places it's much harder to adopt a black dog like to actually find him a home because nobody wants maybe a black dog oh maybe it's not true but People you know, want like, you know, like a white or brown or whatever, you know, golden. But actually, when we adopt the dog, because we are going to adopt the dog as soon as we have, you know, when, possibility uh, to do that. When our lifestyle will uh, yep. chill out a little bit. I'm going to adopt yes, a black dog. I mean, you never know what's available, right? It's not like you can choose. Because actually, my sister adopted a dog and it's like a fully breeded Bichon freeze white fluffy cutest thing in the world and when she adopted him he was a year and a half or a year something like that I but how my cute god so oh my cute. god i love him so much anyway so yeah coffee fest then mountains and then we're gonna start together this journey of do you imagine to bring alfie on the snow i think he doesn't love it how do you know he doesn't like rain yeah, but the snow is different. But it's still cold and he's such a lazy dog. He just wants to sleep and spend the day in bed. Like when I arrive and I'm like lazy. Yeah, but doesn't still, even, you know, uh, the first reaction is uh, uh, we should try. I would love to, obviously. Look I also your love Ger one. Yes, German Yes, a German Shepherd is my favorite. I love, love, love that dog. It's so smart. It's quite a, like an unusual dog, but I also like some other dogs i love the dogs that are maybe not in maybe, popular maybe culture too much it. well right. german shepherd is in that culture. has four legs that's true that's it everything everything every single dog you love it but not just the dog last night before i went to bed i was thinking what's my favorite animal and i think i know it's a bear yeah let's right. go get coffee maybe. Also comparing to the last time we went, it's much more. Look at this. 
wow, really beautiful. I think there's nothing more beautiful than seeing all this like white. We're in Switzerland, guys. How long, maybe until we arrive? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. Well, we're approaching the lake. <laughs> We had to make a little stop at Mimiu. I tried it, baby, in Vienna, and you said you didn't like it on no, me. And now all of a sudden, uh, I think it's cute. <laughs> You're so silly. No, you look like a little Baby, I have too big a head for this kind of yeah, stuff. But I just saw this. Look how cute. Guys, you know, my first stop in St. Moritz was Mew Mew, as I told you, and they have the sweetest thing hey. here. Yay! Yeah, and I just wanted to say hi because honestly, I got some really nice things. You're gonna see them when we finally get our room, which I hope is gonna be ready now. So we're going straight to the hotel. Guys, we made it to the room. To be honest, I really don't look my best self. It's a not long car journey, it's like three hour car journey, which I think is fine, but we arrived and this time, we're staying at the same place as the last time, so you guys know it all. But this time we actually have a lot bigger room. However, it's so weird because Philip and I both just said now, we prefer the cozy than the big, right? Yep. Mwah. And uh, it's really incredible. Let me show you the view. So this time we actually have a beautiful balcony, which has a view to the lake, a little bit, a little bit the village. Really cute. I'm really sporty, as you guys know. I am actually still in my track pants and a little overview of the room. We even have a walk-in wardrobe just here. My OOTD lol. And the beautiful bathroom. I actually really like the bathrooms here. You know, baby, what I really love here? No. The water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just I look know. and there's no. We were drinking like uh, five bottles. Yeah, but now, right now, we only have one. I don't know, I don't know if it was this one. Huh? Was it this one, Valser? Yeah, yeah, it was the one I had in the car. Oh my god, it's so good. Guys, the girls from Mew Mew, they were so sweet. They gave me a little gift that actually I really love because I really need it and I want it because I need it. Maybe I love, love this keychain. Right? It's so cute. Actually, you do need it. I really love it. They're so sweet. Love them. Then I have a few little things that I got. This is the fashion. I don't have something that doesn't go over my hair but actually covers the ears and this one goes really well with what I'm wearing right now. Really good. You see? Beautiful. Philip was showing me fashion show. We're missing the men's fashion week. So Philip was currently watching the show, Gucci's Live. I guess it's 3 p.m. This is the pair of socks that I got. I'll link everything that I got below so you guys can also check it out. The socks are really long. Can you see how long? Perfect for boots and things like that. And then here I have a wonder bag but a fluffy kind. How cute is this, right? I really I love it. I love the wonder bag. I actually brought my wonder bag for this trip. So this is super cute. Also because it kind of freshens up the look. You know what I mean? If you have like gray and white and wintry, I love it. I'll link this below as well. I wanted it in curly monton, but this is in straight hair monton. And it's okay because a bit of variety. You know what I mean? I'll link them both below. So maybe you guys prefer one or the other. Right. Yeah, you like the collection? Philip was watching Gucci. I need to go in as well. Check it out. To be honest, I feel like I'm doing very well. I have zero FOMO from missing the show. I think I'm growing up, you guys. Quick outer change, and we are actually heading to the lake, which is completely frozen and beautiful. Careful, baby. Ooh, this looks deadly. Ah, it's not. They iced it. Okay. I think they put a lot of salt. I have 15% battery on my phone. That's not great, but I really want to show you this place because I think it's beautiful. <gasps> Well, maybe which way do we get down? Here, baby. Filippo managed to explore it all already. Wow. It looks very blue on camera, which, well, I don't know, maybe one look to you, but it's really white and beautiful, and we're gonna go there. Let's go to the sun. Yeah, baby, phone in the pocket. Phone in the pocket? Yeah. Atento! Maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> leave. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna leave it in the video, you know why? Because baby. <laughs> okay guys, now you can see my outfit. The leggings are from second left. Love them, they're brand new. The new socks from Mew Mew. I got a fluffy curly montana boots from Mew Mew. I will link them below. New bag that I just got. The knit is... Actually, it seems like everything's Mew Mew today. Max Mara coat and Acne Studio hat. And that is basically it. It's so beautiful here. Are you cold, Filippo? Uh, my hand is uh, freezing, but maybe you can tell everyone where we are. We're on the lake, but it's frozen. So we're just discussing how there's fish underneath, some of it's still alive, hibernating for the next spring, right? Wow, my hands are Same. frozen. It's so beautiful, though. Love it. Yeah, look how beautiful.
Yeah, it's this little car slash boat. It goes around the lake to make sure that there's no, obviously there's a lot of people walking around. So you don't want, you know, like the lake actually defrosting and people falling in. So it's like a car, but you see, it's also kind of like a boat. So if they encounter defrosting, they are actually a boat. And this is the village. And we are going to buy some stuff. Which we one is the, is the hotel? That the hotel from here. Show with the finger as you always Here, do. it's there. Yeah, exactly. And it's beautiful. 10 out of 10, I strongly recommend. Guys, just got ready for dinner. But first things first, I want to show you. So, while I was having a little nap, the best future husband in the world unpacked literally everything. Yep. I honestly don't know what I did. I must have done something really good to pick you. Yep. I had a little nap, which I don't usually do at all. But I want to show you my outfit. I promise it looks much better in real life. I don't know why. It's not giving me vibes on the screen. But I'm wearing jeans from Gulvia, I think it's called, I don't know how it's pronounced. These Miu Miu, one of my favorite shoes ever. Classic t-shirt that I just had while I was doing TikTok Live, which is the white cost t-shirt. This is a Saint Laurent jacket and I realized I never even shown you. I have done an unboxing on TikTok and on shorts, so go and check it out if you want to see it. It's my new pendant. Love it. And we are just going downstairs to Matsuhisa for a quick bite. It's very late for dinner for us, 10 p.m., but I had enough. That was not planned after we froze. <laughs> Guys, after we went back from lake, we tried to climb up and my boot completely fell in deep snow, like deep until my like crotch. And my boot was full of little pieces of ice for the further two hours. So great stuff. Allora, dentro, dentro il tra il guidatore e il passeggero c'è un box. Lì dentro c'è una Good morning, first of all, it's a new day. What you heard was Filippo calling them from the hotel to say that actually I forgot the microphone in the car, so if they can kindly check if they can find it, because obviously right now I am vlogging without microphone and that's not acceptable, at least I don't really like it. I've just woken up, I filmed the TikTok of my OOTD because it's kind of monochrome and cute and I like it. I think it's quite cute. Also, I'm wearing more and more this bag from Chanel. I really love it. It's a classic flat, but it's a special beige color and I really really enjoy wearing it. There's one thing about the mountains. So last night I couldn't sleep till one because my nose, like everything inside, like sinuses were so swollen. I couldn't breathe. And I mean, I obviously have had, I've spoken actually about this only in my TikTok live. I've had a nasal deviation. I had a nose job, but nobody actually tells you that after you have a nose job and they fix the deviation as well, the cartilage likes to go back to where it was initially. So I don't actually know because I was breathing so well after my nose job. Now I don't really feel like, yeah, anyway. But another thing in the mountains is my eyelids, they swell up a bit. I think it's the altitude and it's all kind of getting used to it. But now where are we going, Filippo? We're going to breakfast. Yes, and we can't wait because the breakfast here is so good, yeah. as you guys know. So let's go. Wanted to show you this. Look how frozen is the window. It's going to be pretty cold out maybe today, but it's beautiful. This, guys, avocado toast is really, really, really one of my favorites ever. It's so good. Like, I think it also depends how the bread is, how the avocado is, how everything is made, how the eggs are done. And I don't eat a lot of this, but I do need to eat more eggs because I need to eat more protein, I think. But also, we got a touch of avocado in or out of truffle season, but it is the black truffle season, right? And the white truffle season just finished. So, you know, we can kind of cover the almost whole year with it. Ladies and gentlemen, after breakfast, it's time to go skiing. And I've never actually worn my Louis Vuitton ski suit. Who remembers when I got it? I got it like, I remember that I vlogged about it when we went shopping because it was kind of, I can't remember now, I feel like it was end of the year and Philippe was now arranging everything on the bed in a matter of true Virgo. Socks, I don't really mind. Black would work or whatever. Yeah, I don't really mind. Something slim. But I'm very excited to try it on. I'm gonna do it again. Get ready with me. As you can see, it's brand new with tag. Yep, never worn it. It's been a year that I had it. And this jacket Jacket. It's not really a skiing jacket, but it just goes really well with this outfit. But what's good about it is that if I don't freeze, I'll be okay. And also, do you think Maybe I'll during freeze? During lunch, would you like to wear this mm, or this? The black. The black one? Yeah. So that's for lunch. Thank you. One and thing is missing. What's missing? Which is? My Porta Borraccia. Wow! I'm gonna have a total Louis Vuitton outfit today for the slopes. Uh, that's, that's pretty insane. Let's get dressed. Okay, guys, we are dressed for the ski moment. I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton Salopette that I 
I just shown you and fully dressed. I got dressed for TikTok. I have also this jacket. I'm bringing my Porta Boraccia, the thermos. We have here my helmet, Filippo's helmet. I don't know which one's which actually. I also love how cozy and cute is my wardrobe. And it's kind of monochrome as well. I was moisturizing a little bit because honestly, after holidays, my skin is always a little bit here and there. This is really good for dry skin, I have to say. So here you can actually see my outfit of the day so far. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it could be a sunny day outside, but it also looks very cold. The temperature forecast says minus eight. So we have lots of layers. We now need to go get the skis and stuff like that. And we're gonna go up there to enjoy. Guys, I was telling Philippe that I feel like last time the helmet was a little bit more <laughs> flattering on me. I don't know if it's because I tucked in the hair at the back, but I wanna protect my hair. I wanna have like healthy ends. I don't want them to freeze. So this is what it is. What we need to do really in the future is buy our own boots and skis but i just always thought like what's the point like you know but now that we live so close to the mountains and we can come to the mountains every weekend and actually ski i see the point <laughs> guys i mean i saw once a chanel chanel skis and i thought like i would like to have this just like for a home exhibit because they were so beautiful they were like mirrored and gorgeous like minimal just like a small little logo on them and like mirror skis and i was like oh, but, you know i'm never gonna really use this i don't need it but now i wish i have it that's it the Mara ridiculous thing to say. Also, these fluffy Mew Mew boots are the comfiest boots that exist in the world. I will make sure to link them below. They are comfier than any Uggs. They're so warm. Yesterday, I had like two hands of snow inside of it, but it completely absorbed everything and my feet were not wet. It was like a little bit wet at the beginning, but then like it warmed it up. I wasn't cold or wet or anything like they're the best. That's that. I'm gonna have my second coffee now. It's next to me and we're gonna go straight up. The only thing that I don't like about St. Moritz, I think I mentioned this in my Vlogmas, is that when you go to Corvilla, you take like the first train usually and it takes forever to wait for it to come. At least that was our experience when we were here last time. So hopefully it's gonna be a bit better. We'll see. And also hopefully it's not gonna be too cold today because I feel like it could be too cold. Yeah. Our skis are here next to each other, ready to be loaded on to the shuttle. Looks um, very exotic. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful day. Hello everyone, here is Filippo speaking from uh, Tamar. Tamara is getting ready. Last time ready. Here is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Guys, we just came the first lift up. I got so triggered, I could actually cry right now because we were on the lift with these three guys, like young guys, Swiss German or German, I'm not sure they were speaking in German. And they held like frozen snowballs, like snowballs, you know, in their hands. And from the lift, they were throwing them onto the skiers and people below, which obviously, yes, everybody has a helmet and stuff. But I mean, like, it triggered me so much and Filippo told him immediately. He was like, guys, I don't think what you're doing is okay. Because you know, if someone can uh, fall, get distracted, they're skiing fast and they can break their leg. And what then? Is it funny? Haha. -ha. And they were like, oh, okay, sorry, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You know, sorry. And I was like, yeah, you know, guys, I'm sure you're great skiers and you're lovely people, but you know, maybe someone can get hurt. And then just before we were getting off the lift, they threw it on a girl that was like under, like sitting. She wasn't even skiing. Like she was on the snow and they like threw it onto her and I almost started crying because like I get so triggered by bullying and by this kind of behavior. Filippo knows this about me. Like for me, if I see someone bullying someone else, I will always speak up. If I see someone leave a really like abusive comment on Instagram and it's someone I follow, I will unfollow that person immediately. If I see someone in any kind of way use like abusive language or act in an abusive way, I'm immediately like, no, you know, and then Filippo really told them off. Like he actually she swore it to be honest and yeah I honestly honestly sometimes I just feel like this is not okay guys like let's just try and like yeah awful but anyway what makes things much better is that I think I have the most handsome man next to my side and also a really good one and also you know when he told him the first time he's like guys I don't think it's okay you do that I mean I understand you you're young I also used to do some stupid things when I was young but you know but then when he told him the second time he wasn't as nice so we're just here it's really really beautiful and we're gonna go down there
beautiful, beautiful day. Let's not let anybody ruin it for me. But just wanted everybody to know that if you're a bully or if you're abusive to anybody at a workplace, in the school, on the street, in a club, in anywhere, I absolutely do not approve it. I do not think it's cool. I actually think it's a major, major loser behavior. Any kind of dismissive, abusive behavior language is a loser behavior, if you ask me. Well, okay guys, we are currently on our, I don't know, like fourth or fifth round. We got very lucky because we got the lift for ourselves, so I'm more comfortable this time also to vlog and no annoying people. Oh, now the mood is much better. Also, we ran into some happy people we know from Belgrade, which is always very nice. We have lunch at 2, it's 12 oh, now. Oh, well, Filippo is on the phone, so I guess I'm not gonna vlog much, but let me show you around. Oh, he... Okay guys, are you ready for a little ski session? We still have time to enjoy. You got it, my love. The moment of panic. In the jacket, did we drop my phone from the ski lift? Yes, we did. Filippo, my love, you cannot stress me out so much. We found it. How many times in this video did I say it's a beautiful day? It's a beautiful day. There's a crazy amount of skiers. That's the only thing. Like, but what do you expect? It's Saturday, so yeah, that's what happens. A lot of other weekend skiers like us. Very flat here, as you can see, which is why we uh, need to help ourselves with these things. Okay, guys, so we came for lunch, lunch break. I'm still following the black travel season very, very, very closely, as you can see. We ordered a lot of food because we're very hungry. Your salad looks great, Philippe. Really right? Yeah, I love it. But also my pasta and this that I had last time as well. I love it. Just at the lunch. Guys, we skied today till basically the ski lift stopped. Maybe I still have like a helmet line. Can you see here? Oh my god. We skied quite a bit and like I froze. It was so cold. Currently, do you want to see how many degrees it is currently? Minus 10. It's not too bad. It's going to be minus 14. I mean, I think it's not the worst, honestly. But I think it was quite something, if I may say so. So, to give you my uh, little two cents i'm trying to get back to work and uh, i have to say like it's a lot because i don't know if i've given myself too many kind of goals also for the year but i have a lot of daily routines to follow and a lot of things so let's see hopefully everything will work out or maybe it's just like everything taking a little bit longer now that we're hiring because every day like we're going through cvs and i'm not actually involved in the first stage of interviews because i usually do the second round of interviews etc but or like third, I'm not even sure how it actually goes anymore. Second, I guess, is the only last one. But it takes a lot of the team's time and everybody's like busy and you know how it is. So tonight, what are we doing tonight? We're going to friend's house, Filippo's friend's house here in St. Moritz. And I'm not going to do much makeup, just like a little bit of base, as you can see. I think Filippo asked me today what you want to do and stuff. And I think this is going to sound so weird. Guys, for me, whenever somebody has a dog, I want to go to their house. So hope that that tells you everything you need to know. So right now, doing my makeup, pretty much most of the time, same as usually. Not really going to do much. I'm actually also using this hourglass palette someone yesterday asked me in tiktok live and it's the one that you build yourself i like it because i like the colors that i have they're very neutral so yeah we froze basically on the slope and then i showered like 40 minutes boiling hot water i'm sure this is like super unhealthy and i was thinking about it all the way while i was showering i was like mm -hmm, i'm sure this is quite unhealthy but i was also thinking i do not care because it felt so good that it didn't matter charlotte tilbury iconic nude lip liner unfortunately 
see I didn't bring the sharpener it's okay we're going home tomorrow so you know it's not actually a big deal I also have so many things that I need to figure out when I told you like I don't know how to figure out my schedule and stuff basically I'm invited to a Chanel event in London but I have a job that is pending for that day in Milan so I need to understand what's going on with my whole entire life also because the year just only started some people are not even back in their offices yet but there's a lot of things pending on other people's decision we're already planning like deep planning New York and London Fashion Week we already have like lots of stuff confirmed I think like yeah it's been quite a moment of trying to kind of handle coming back to the office and working out with everything. So hopefully, if this video is a little bit all over the place, you will understand why that is. So let me show you my... Can you see even my makeup? I'm not sure. Okay, so this is a look. Do not look at the swollen head, obviously, on top and the helmet difference, but very, very natural look. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. We're going to go figure it out now. Very annoyingly, the light here where you have to stand and do your makeup is way better so you can see it much better here than at the vanity table but this is the makeup that i'm going for tonight it's very neutral very you can see the eye the eyebrows the lip not much of anything i am loving this van cleef necklace that i've been wearing i think also it goes really well with the cartier necklace that filippo bought me i also really enjoy wearing my hair a bit straightish tomorrow when we get home i'm gonna wash it and i'll see how i'll style it but for now i love it like this and now we're gonna go and get dressed so let's do this okay guys outfit of the night to tem jeans new new shirling boots and the same knit that i traveled in yesterday this is also a new new t-shirt long sleeved one that i bought when we were in vienna I'm gonna put on this ring this is the promise ring that filippo bought me two years ago let see i got my engagement ring the rest of the jewelry you guys know what coat am i gonna wear We'll see. I'll probably wear just like my teddy or something. I don't even know what I have. I actually brought the white coat as well from the Frankie shop. Let's see. I actually really like this coat a lot. But you know what? I think it's more of a city coat. And what do I mean by that? I don't know. I mean, I know what I mean by that. I mean, it's more like a coat that you wear in the city than you wear in the mountains. I think in the mountains, it's going to be probably my teddy and maybe my gold working. So mixing a bit more of gray and beige tonight. And that's that. I'm going to be very honest. I don't think I'll be vlogging at all this dinner tonight because like... Yeah. Yeah, sometimes like we go with some Filippo's friends and I don't feel like it's appropriate to film especially when it's other people's houses or if it's not like my close friends but it's more like Filippo's friends then I don't really feel like you know what I mean like I don't want to be like this silly girl that comes and like films and they're like what are you doing you know what I mean? I always feel like a silly girl. And then I feel even sillier when they tell me like, oh my God, Mara, we love your work and what you do and stuff. And I'm like, how do you know what I do? Because yeah, I just feel like, especially when it comes to serious people. But anyway, that's that. I'm ready. What's the time, Phil? 7.37. Perfect. So we need to leave in three minutes, just as planned. Good morning, guys. It's a new day and the last day in St. Moritz. We're actually leaving today, but that was it. Like a weekend in St. Moritz sounds like a pretty good idea to me. We're here at the village. We're taking some pictures, which I will insert here. And I'll get Filippo to show you my outfit of the day. I think he's done actually the same thing here last time. So maybe not. Oh, look, he's checking uh, the Cartier window and not gonna say anything but my birthday is in two months so I don't know I'm thinking this year I might want to replace my clash ring that I bought and unfortunately it was lost okay guys my outfit of the day it's freezing but I got these Mew Mew boots with the Mew Mew socks that I just bought love them so much totem jeans actually I wore pretty much very similar look last night Saint Laurent in it Mew Mew scarf that I love I have a Max Mara teddy coat my Verkin 25 in gold with a chrome heart pendant. What else have I got? Phoebe Philo glasses. Inside I have a hat from Celine that is old, but I'll try and link something similar for you guys below. Pat McGrath lip gloss in, I forgot the shade, we'll link it below as well. So that's it. Do you like it, Filippo? I love it. Babe. What would you rate this outfit? This outfit is, uh, it's a full, full, full eight. I was gonna say nine. But no, okay. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna go pack now, and then I'll probably change my outfit. So I wanted to show this one. It means uh, I'm going to pack. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. Yeah. It doesn't mean that. Baby. It, it means, but if it means you're I'm offering... going to pack. Why if, she's choosing the look, next outfit to shoot? If you're offering... Welcome to my life. I'm this is the hotel. Which is pretty pretty. It's a castle. A castle for a queen. Your okay guys, my second outfit of the day, I wanted to show you, I'm wearing my Chanel rubber boots, black tux leggings, 
This is a black Uniqlo turtleneck. Filippo Saint Laurent long cardigan. Mew Mew Wonder Bag. Baby Philo glasses still. And Filippo's Chrome Hearts Cini. And we took some pictures in this beautiful place. Look at this. Just like over occupied a little bit, I guess. Look how beautiful it's today. We're going up the hill. It's like a steep up the hill, I have to be honest. So talking and walking is not easiest. This is the hotel. It's gorgeous. Last time my phone died and my camera died when we were going up here, so I didn't really vlog much. Okay, this is the Hermes store. I think it's beautiful because it's in this gorgeous style. And this restaurant is amazing. The pizza, by the way, they say it's the best pizza in St. Martin. So if you're coming, screenshot now. From Hearts is here, but it's closed. Okay guys, we are almost in Milan. It's around 3 p.m. So tramonto, quasi. Yeah, almost. Oh, two more hours. And almost sunset. We are heading home, which I'm always happy about going home. But I wanted to ask Filippo a question that I haven't actually pre-warned him about. So I don't know if it's gonna take him a moment to think about it. I wanted to ask you, what were your top three moments, Filippo, from this weekend in San Moritz? Top three moments? Yeah, Filippo is a big fan of top three, so okay, let's do it. so top three. I told you might take you all. I'll tell you yeah. mine. No, no. Number one is when we stop to take the pictures on the way there, on the side of the. Yeah, okay. Because Understood. it was sunny. Yeah. But for some reason it was minus 10, but for some reason it was warm. Okay. It was incredible because the air is so dry. And because maybe the view and it was spectacular. Okay. So that was the number one. Cool. Number two was uh, when uh, the, the ski. Because I really enjoyed the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And number three, I think it was dinner last night. It was very nice. Okay. My top three were when we were sitting on those uh, sun beds and getting ah, yeah. the sun yeah. and between the skiing. Love that. Really was just enjoying the moment, holding hands. It was really nice. Number two was dinner last night. I really had a great time. Like we had fondue and raclette, and it was 12 of us, so it was a big group of people. But also they had corgis. Yep. Two corgis, seven months old, right? Nine months. Nine months. Oh my god, they're so cute. Emma and uh, Oli. Oli. They're, they're so, so cute. cute. Like, guys, you can't even imagine. It was amazing. And to be honest, people, I even kind of enjoyed a little bit today walking through the village with you. Same. It was warm with our coffee. Yeah. The thing about this weekend, guys, is that it was very cold. You know, we went down to minus 18 or something, yeah. but it wasn't cold. Okay, the night, yes. Yeah. When there is no sun, yes. But when there is the sun, even if it was, it was minus perfect. 14, it was so good. Yeah, crazy. And you know, so refreshing because we live in the, one of the top three dirtiest city in the world. So we appreciate the fresh and clean. Yep. Yeah. Currently, we're driving to Milan. I have no idea what we're going to eat at home because we probably have nothing in the fridge. I'm not going to have to be honest. But I bought some snacks in Switzerland. Grande o grain snack original because i'm not really a huge fan of crisps believe it or not like it's so funny because my mom did a great job she kind of really put a lot of effort in teaching us kind of what really is good food for you and i don't really like many many snacks obviously i like sweets a lot she does too so obviously there she kind of couldn't be you know hypocritical but like if i'm gonna snack something i'm never gonna eat like crisps you know i don't really like potato chips we also never have it at home no, no, we don't eat chips. But like I thought I'd try this because I like it. So, that's that. For lunch, what are we having, Filippo? We don't know. I think we, to be honest, we skip lunch. Yeah? But yeah, maybe it's, uh, my love, it's 3, 3 p.m. We're uh, gonna yeah, be Italian home at lunch. 4 ish. Italian lunch is only like between 1 and 3, so you cannot eat lunch at 4. I would say 1 and 2. 1 and 2? Yeah. So you can't eat lunch at 4, right? 4 is not lunch. What is it? It's, I don't know. It's merenda. Merenda, yeah, it's a snack. You know what, we can, we can have a nice cup of tea, but we are not eating any sweets. So I'd love to have sense. a cup of tea and we don't need to eat any sweets. I'll make us some nice rooibos tea. That sounds like a very good plan. We need maybe to unpack and then uh, I need to go tonight. I don't know if you want to come. I'm not going to unpack. I'm going to wash my hair when I come home. Awesome. And then maybe I'll come with Filippo to a football game tonight. Maybe I say maybe because maybe I have... So we skipped Milan Men Fashion Week for the first time in... I don't know how many years. And honestly, I told Filippo today I'm kind of not upset about it at all. Like, either I'm 
it's kind of maturing in life or well, I don't know what it is but no, maybe it was a goal that we decided at the beginning of the year remember yeah we said that this Focus year more on more I mean less is more that's the mantra yeah I want to be more exclusive with my presence no, so you're not, so lucky no but it's not about that it's about to preserve our health because last year you did too much yeah so you need to work a little bit less I think like I'm just trying to like work smart right work smarter yeah yeah, yeah. and that's that we'll update you when we get home guys several hours later we came home yep. we both washed our hair <laughs> I mean we did. you yours and me mine we did and look at this dog no blah blah blah, blah. and uh, we are now heading to San Siro which is a stadium like football stadium in Milan and tonight I'm gonna be Filippo's plus one because besides fashion Filippo also works in football a little yeah. bit so, so basically I'm going to the office and I'm gonna be a wifey which is actually very exciting for me considering that I don't don't get to do that a lot but I love it sometimes yeah and uh, got dressed up really warm because it's gonna be cold came back from St. Moritz tomorrow is a new day and I have to start working like really hard core guys because there's lots going on right now so i hope you enjoyed this vlog a little weekend with us what can i tell you i love you as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys